Yesterday's rain and flooding, some areas still dealing with issues, particularly along rivers that are still rising. CBS 2's Christina Fan live in Patterson, where the Passaic River is raising some concerns here this noon. Christina? Chris, in fact, it's concerning just how fast the Passaic River is rising behind us. About 30 minutes ago, there was no water here on the sidewalks. Now you can see it has pulled deep enough that the Department of Public Works had to shut down this bridge. And over here, if we turn to the right, you can see these local roads. They are even worse. This auto parts business has been closed two days in a row because there is no way to access the entrance safely. Workers had to lay out used tires as stepping blocks. You can see one of the employees right now trying to get inside. Everyone in town is nervously watching the Passaic River. It's expected to crest between noon to 1 p.m. today, bringing a second round of devastation after Monday's storm. Yesterday, the rain already flooded so many homes and businesses. The city of Patterson had to declare a state of emergency, and that continues into today. The mayor says first responders are staged and prepared throughout the city for water rescues and other emergencies. They may result from the river cresting over 10 feet. This morning on Bergen Street, Chopper 2 caught police and fire, coordinating the rescue of a man who needed dialysis. And got him to where he needed to go. So that's precisely why we have a state of emergency. In anticipation for all the flooding today, Patterson Public Schools were closed. Families again urged to stay home so emergency vehicles can more easily access those who may need rescue. The mayor says it is still too early at this point to anticipate how much damage this store will end up causing. For now, reporting live from Patterson, New Jersey, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Okay, Christina, thank you.